Excellent. And the way it went. Yes, yes, yes. Atmospheric pressure is the treasure. Oh, is the measure of our treasure. Yes, yes. Let's thank the air, earth, fire, gas, and water for allowing us to be here today at the quaint, as they say, but this is to not annihilate at all, but to sublimate. <laughs> oh yeah, uh, another Me Too movement has started. <laughs> Those two white women that make racist remarks. Beyond triage, beyond. Take the worst first triage. They pissed off. Because Harry, Prince Harry didn't marry an exclusively white woman, the marriage sister. So those two white women said, yeah, um, one of them said I'm pissed, the other said me too. And made racist remarks towards black people, black women. Wonder how many gonna be joining. <laughs> we already know there has been many and there will be many more. Too bad. Okay, <laughs> too freaking bad. At the same time, though, the beauty uh, of it all uh, has its place. One thing I want to uh, certainly uh, deal with is the uh, how about what I was trying to deal with it, just that quickly. bringing forth of the energy of who we are, what we are, any way possible, all opportunities, you know how they run the commercials and all of that, these people, these owners, right? So right now, people were impressed in our lifetime. Oh, the first president, oh, never thought we was going to go through this. Never thought we was going to see black president and all that, you know, right? But even more impressive is the divine order being present It's the woman, the black woman in that whole office handling things always now in the, in the white castle from the white house to the white castle it's even more impressive how powerful is that how much pressure is piled up on us on that you see the genetic makeup, that's the power or the pressure from that the sexual contact, the birth, the seed dropped in the womb, life goes on. You see, that's the power in that. That's what I recognize as well. Men, you gotta recognize the queen. You can't you gotta stop leaving the queen out in the biggest picture. Nation building. Can't do what your boy Mandela did. If I got all about winning. Can't do that once you get free. Ain't no freedom till she speaks of the language of freedom. Blam in your face is powerful. Is it not? Yes, it is. Very powerful message that the creative process has given us. Peaceful dominance. We already knew it was coming, so we just had to remain calm in the storm. Come plain to the right person, to the right entity, to the right energy. Some, something's going to happen. Yeah, come plain, come as you are. You see? That's where we, that's where we are right now in this powerful relationship. How about delving into that. How about holding on to that energy about in your lifetime? Black woman's queen of crown, check, mate. Everything is spirit anyway. You know, all claims about all oh, just uh, humans in spiritual form. 
then she's always always has been there. I mean, this is not the first time black biracial black woman been on the throne in the royal family. It's, it's very well known. It's not the first time. But, uh, it's a beautiful thing. And uh, behave yourself as, as such. Live as such. And to be able to have a total recall of the energetic makeup of who you are, your ancestry. Light, life giving self, transformation process, unlike any other, unlike any other human being ever. Okay, so that's the beauty of that. That's the love that I have for this situation that I'm in right now today. In that immaculate conception, truly, in, in my lifetime, I can speak this language. And so the children can know that not only we have the dastardly deeds of drugs and crime and all that. And see, in our lifetime, like the movie I was talking about, Superfly, we're going to see the donations and the acclamation of the drugs infiltrating into our, into our community. We're going to see those dollars having them running out of the community, destroying the families, all kinds of families, black and white, yeah, of that move. But again, like I said, the Black Panther move, where the dollars that were supposed to donate to some community. You see, that's what I'm talking about, using people. That those are the keys as well. You know they're going to launch the attack. So you have to attach to the divine at all times. And you, and you will receive the answer for your life to move forward so you can live on with the truth and answers and the change, not just spoken words, but the change that it will take place that it would give in the world to other people. You see? So, what a powerful thing I want to say. When it, it's about responsibility, logistics, log is this, this, log, logistics is you were here, it's time. You were here, you were there. I love to get there. Uh, but this irresponsibility, and then we have as men as in this society to know who's responsible, who's not. Irresponsible people that will take a situation of a school shooting and intricately show how society and that person is mentally incapable and have issues in society and society don't, they don't know the answers why these people are doing that. A young person who's not developed, the brain function is not developed at all and knowing that this society has put forth chemicals to drain the young person, poor diet to drain the young person, raising education standards as far as dollars and cents to get in to get an education. Brought in an uh, educational person from in the White House to change the education opportunities altogether. You see, these are people who are irresponsible. But with same people who are sitting uh, uh, buildings, expensive buildings, to talk about war and killing millions of people. 100,000 people, and would actually drop a bomb and say that they were, this was uh, a nation building thing. And yet, at the same time, the killing took place. And yet, the young person in the school, in the school shooting, he's looked at as something wrong. But these politicians in these suits that looked at as heroes, when no war is a, is a heroic act, never has been, never will be. In my lifetime, since I've been living, 
And that could go back into times when there were mechanical wars, dropping bombs. That's not an heroic act. So this is how irresponsible these, this society has allowed themselves to go to. To blame the children, the young people, as always. You see, so we have to be able to look at that. The pushing of the button, and the button that was playfully pushed in Hawaii. We see the volcano, things going on there. You see, the brain function of those people, something goes awry when they, when they don't have all the attention. So, uh, yeah, that is exclusive uh, mental diagnosis that we have to put forth on them as well. But th th there's no reason in these days of time to drop bums on people based on the ability not to be able to negotiate. Now you can negotiate anything these days of time because you can get supplies to a nation that needs supplies, whatever they need, food, clothing, shelter, or immediately, right away, set up for that. So to say that the need to murder, maim, and kill innocent people gives you honor. No, it's, it, that is not. And yet, we'll blame young people to say that they have a problem, they have mental issues. They can be put in uh, institutions. Shows you the irresponsibility of these people in our society. This is how we got into the situation we are now with Russia. They'll sell their own people out. <clears throat> as far as information and to dodge the responsibility. Like right now, the history books will tell us, yeah, the Nazis, they, and that's, this, this is in their books, the war was me storytelling that they always come up with. What happened to so-called uh, people, right? Jews, the Jews, they call themselves, right? See, the Nazis went into Russia, went into Russia, and so-called slaughtered many Russians, started a war in Russia. That's, this is the history books now. They said Hitler decided that they were going to go into Russia and kill, slaughter many Jews in that country. Now, how is it today that no Jews in Russia are related to any Jews anywhere else in the world. So everything that's going on in Russia, all the Jews in the historical account have no relationship with the Jews in Israel or in the United States to be able to pull this off, to be able to make this a smooth transit, to get out of it, you see, to go into it and to be able to get out of it, okay? That's what I'm talking about, just a snippet of information. It's, that's the, the story that they tell. They say, yeah, Hitler tried to knock him down, beat him down. They say, Hitler, madman, and Stalin, I think, wanted to go wanted, uh, somewhere they, somewhere down in Russia. Not Stalin, but yeah, Hitler wanted to go in there. You know, Stalin was trying to uh, get to China or something. Yeah, right there in Russia. Hundreds, millions, where people, millions of people live. So we know... They are related. And they are they enemies now all of a sudden? All, all the Jewish people in Russia, enemies of the Jewish people in Israel and in the United States all of a sudden? Who are these people that lived in Russia, those Jew, Jew, so-called Jewish people in Russia that Hitler suddenly wanted to attack? That's established a homeland that's been living in Russia thousands of years. Who are these people? Now all of a sudden, they have no alliance with Israel? Come on. Let's be real. Let's be the man of steel. That's what we're running short on. You see? Let's be real on this thing here. 